to this tutorial on Python. Today you'll be creating drop down lists. This is a great way of adding that extra level to your graphic user interfaces. Now what we'll be doing is we're going to be installing our TK Inter module and then we'll be going down and writing our code to create a drop down list. Now in TK Inter a drop down list is essentially called an options menu and that is the command we'll be using throughout this whole tutorial. So let's get started. So first thing we'll do is zoom in and then we're going to import our TK Inter as TKR. And then uh, if you can forget about this bit for the time being, we'll come back to this later on. So the first thing you need to do is type in, is to create essentially our master window. We do that by typing in TKR.TK. And then we get the size of our window by typing master.geometry, put a title to our window, master.title. Then what I've done is created the label to put above our drop down list, and we've got I've just called it a basic drop down list. And you're using that through a label. So you type in tkr.label and then attribute that to the master, put a text on the label, and then grid it to the top. So before we move on, let me just show you what the options menu command is made up of so that you can understand the next steps. So let's put tkr.options menu, let's open the brackets. And as you can see here, you have arguments as, that come with uh, the options menu. So firstly, what to do is we've got to attribute it to our master window. Fortunately, I've called that argument master, I've called it master to make it easier to understand. And then we have to uh, put our variable in and that is where our string var comes in and I'll show you that later on. And then we assign our value, one value or values, depending on how many options we want in the drop down list. And this could be however many options you want. You could go down, you know, 10, 100, 1000, you know, however many you want. So first thing I've done is I've created my variable and then put tkr.stringvar. And then what I've done below that is created my options menu. So exactly what we did before, earlier is I've typed in tkr.options menu. Now I typed in master, so then that now sits, will sit within the window. Our var is linked to that string var, and this is our list. So in the first instance, we're going to have one, two, three as our list. And then this grayed out area we'll come back to later on, and that's to do with the list I created above. The next thing I'm going to do is I've configured it to make it a bit bigger so that you can see it very clearly. And uh, if you want to know how to do that, what I simply did is typed in set one, which is uh, for pretty much our first options, uh, our first set of drop down options. And I've basically attributed that, attributed that to our options menu. So what I've done is then typed in set one dot configure and then in the our configure brackets, I put the font equal to Arial, but you can change that to, you know, Calibri if you want, or, you know, if you're going a bit crazy, Wingdings. Um, and then I put the size as 25, just so you can really see it. And then the next thing I've done is I've gridded it to just below the label. And then the first, last thing I'll do is activate our TK Inter by putting tkr.mainloop. And now hopefully this should work. As you can see on my right here, I tried it earlier and I got lots of mistakes. So let's get rid of that. And then let's run it. And as you can see, it opens in a new window. You can see here, I have it here. It might be very small on your screen, but don't worry, when the numbers appear, then it should hopefully be more visible. So I've got my label here. The title is called drop down list. And as you can see here, I've got, I click on this box here and I can choose one, two or three. So that's the first one. If we can get two in there and three. So if we go back to it and now let's uh, take out this one and put in this one here. 
So what I've done here is a sense, instead of putting this this uh, number here, I've put it here. And notice I put that number as a string. That can be a number as well. As well. It doesn't have to be in a string. And what I've done here is I've put each one of these as a list. So in this drop-down list, each one of the options in the drop-down list is also a list in itself. So I'm just, you know, I'm just pushing the boundaries a little bit more, just really sort of you know, increasing your knowledge just a little bit more. And so what we've got here is we've got one, two, three, you know, 10, 20, 30, and we've also got, you know, subscribe, you know. I'm not missing a trick here, you know. I've got to, I've got to play a trick in a book these days. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you really like this channel and really like what I'm doing. However, let's get back to this. So let's see if our drop if our drop down list of lists actually works. Um, I haven't done this much, so oh yes, it does. Brilliant. So here we had our one, two, three from earlier on. And these are numbers these time this time. You also have 10, 20, 30, 200, 300. 100, 200, and 300. Notice I had to make that a little bit bigger. That's fine. You can do that in TK Enter. And then also subscribe. So, you know, you have text, numbers, you can have, you know, arrays, you can have all sorts uh, of, you know, things in this list. However, you know, I've kept it simple here. So, I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Um, check out more of my tutorials on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.